Well, most of the perches are filled up now. Frankly, I'm amazed there's so many of these guys. What cautious lives they must have lived. They deserve credit for their vitality. They're all so lovely individually, but I think they look downright awe-inspiring, and so many of them are gathered together in one place. I don't know. It's hard to relax with all of them eyeballing us at once. Yeah, I guess owls do seem to stare. <laughs> uh, you've done well. He's at it again. Come on, you know you like it. Frankly, I never thought you'd gather so many of us. You are so quick to rescue those in need. You have given us a big, happy family. We're on the brink of extinction. We must work together if we are to change our fate. You carry a heavy burden. Don't you worry. We can change fate. You won't be alone. I promise. This isn't just your fight. I'm here for you too. I want us both to be together. That was you interpreting for the owls, right? Uh, yeah, of course. It's nice to see everyone getting along. But perhaps we should be moving on. Just who was that conversation between? Try not to think about it too much. Besides, there's still a few empty perches left. We've come this far. Why stop now, right? Hey, Hoodle. Once we've managed to gather all the owls, after that... Huh? <laughs> Oh ho! Oh ho 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 ho! This shall be a feast for the senses. Friends, Hoodle? It's like we've assembled every single owl in Dana. You know, looking at them all, I think we very well may have. Talk about a spectacular sight. Yeah, His Majesty and Her Majesty both seem pleased as well. When she's all alone, her thoughts drift to sad places. I did all this so that she could have lots of friends and live happily ever after. Hey, I get a little grumpy sometimes. I'm interpreting for the owls, not talking about you. Well, at least Hoodle isn't alone anymore, right? Uh, right. 
Uh, hey, Hoodle? Huh? Hoodle, I think you should stay. Huh? If you keep traveling with us, it's going to be constant fighting, and you'll be put in a lot more danger. But this is a safe place, filled with lots of friends for you. Huh? Plus, you can learn lots of new stuff with friends. Just like all the new things I've gotten to learn since I met Alfin and everyone else. All I could teach you was to jump from twig to twig. But now look at you. You're soaring to new heights. You can go wherever you want on your own now. So, stay here. And be with your friends, okay? Are you sure about this? Hey, I didn't mean for you to... It's okay. I made up my mind. We stuck with each other for as long as we did because we had no one else to depend on. Now... It's for the best we stay among our own kind. Take care of yourself, Poodle. He's trying to say, I don't abandon my friends. Huh? Oodle has his own wings. If he wanted to leave, he could have left whenever he wanted to. He can come back to this place whenever he wants to. But right now, what he wants is to be with you. It's true that his own kind is here. And he knows that. But he won't know if you'll always be around, Rinwell. But... I mean... I think he's asking you whether you really want him to go. No! Of course I don't really want him to go! Hoodle's the only family I have left! <laughs> then it's settled. Poodle has a place to go home to whenever he wants, and that'll never change things between you. Are you sure about this, Hoodle? Take care of our friend. I pray your journey is a safe one. Okay, enough already. <laughs> you. Try to be nice to one another, your majesties. Well, what's the answer? Oh, well, yeah, of course. Yeah, we'll both take care of each other. I meant the owl's answer. <clears throat> Let's go, Hoodle! <laughs> 